Hey guys, I want to give you an update on my SA Sports Fever crossbow. I've already did a final review on it, and I seem to get a lot of questions still about it, and I want to answer a few things. You know, this bow is going to be used a lot if you shoot it a lot, so there is a, you know, chance that the string will wear. I mean, I've shot this already. I've had it for a year and a half. I've probably shot it over 2,500 times. I mean, that's just a rough estimate, but I've shot it a lot because when I shoot it, I shoot it. You know, I don't I don't just shoot it for a couple minutes. I, you know, shoot it for about a couple hours every time I do get the chance to shoot it. So, like I said, the string does wear. I've had a few comments on my video about the string uh, fraying real bad and all this and that. So, you know, you will have to probably have the serving redone, and Dick Sporting Goods can redo it for free if you have a Dick Sporting Goods in your area. I just took, you could take your crossbow in there because they used to sell them, and usually if they have a Bowtech on hand, they'll do it for you for free. I went ahead and redid mine because mine was fraying pretty bad. It didn't damage the string, likely, but my serving on here that I don't know if you guys know what the serving is, but it's the it's the braid right here along the along the string that goes up and down your your track here. And what happens is after a while that wears out because it rubs against your rubs against your platform as it's shooting the, the bolt. And then your locking device here can wear it out by grabbing it and holding it. So yeah, it's gonna wear. And um, that's the only problem I've had so far with it. Like I said, I've shot it a bunch of times. I mean, you know, the, these crossbows are really made cheap. And, you know, I think I pushed the limits on mine. And I'm not saying it's a bad crossbow by any means. But, you know, like they say, you get what you pay for for 130 I paid $135 for mine, which, you know, they've, they've lowered the cost on them since then. But, you know, I've, I've put mine through... Uh, a lot and you know I'm I'm surprised it held up as good as it has and you know like these arrows I think I've told you guys what I, what arrows I use these are the Easton crossbow platinum Raider arrows 20 inch you know in some cases I probably said they were 22 but I meant they were 20 inch bolts they hold up really well compared to the cheap ones and, you know, I'm probably saying a lot of things I've said before on the final review, but, you know, I've had a lot of, like I said, I've had a lot of comments saying that the string's messing up, this is messing up, and it all comes back to putting it together. So, I want to tell you guys, if you follow the instructions from point to point, you really shouldn't have a problem besides wear and tear. You know, that wear and tear is going to happen on anything, really. Just like on cars, you know, your brakes going to go out, tires. It's just, you know, it's the uh, nature of the beast. So, um, other than that, uh, I just want to share that update with you guys. And I appreciate you guys following these videos. I'm glad I got to test this out. I know I'm not, um, I know my videos are kind of popular on YouTube for this. But, you know, we're going to be doing some more shooting with this thing here. And hopefully we'll be pushing the limits for it. I mean, I think I've already pushed the limits for it, but we're going to go with a little bit lighter tips and see if we can shoot a little bit farther without it kind of arcing a lot because with these 125 grain tips and this thing only shooting supposedly 235 feet per second, it arcs so bad. I've already missed two or three deer this year with it. So I'm switching to, uh, I'm going to try 85 grain. And I went back and checked on my other videos, and um, I've, I've told a person that SA Sports recommends at least 350 grain. Well, with 185, or with the 85 grain tip on these bolts, it puts it around 400. And with 125 grain tip on these bolts, it puts it like at 430, 435, something like that. So... I'm going to try that out and uh, see what happens, but I want to tell you guys thanks for watching. I hope this update helps you. Um, like I said, you know, 
it's it's going to wear. So don't worry about that if you shoot it a lot like I have. You know, eventually you're going to have to change out the string. It's just part of it. But alrighty guys, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.